Hi dear friends, welcome to my channel Chem Tam with Manasa. Friends, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get more videos related to chemistry. Friends, in the preparation of any examination, the proper knowledge of syllabus, chapter wise marks distribution and question paper pattern are very very important. So, in this video, I will give you the clear picture of question paper pattern of class 12 or uh, second PUC examination of uh, NCRT syllabus in Karnataka. Uh, friends, uh, as you know, the question paper will be of 70 marks and time duration of the examination will be 3 hours and 15 minutes. Friends, your question paper will contain totally 4 parts, part A, part B, part C and part D. In case of part A, there will be 10 questions each carrying 1 mark. So, totally there are 10 marks from the part A section or 1 mark question. Then part B. In case of part B, there will be 8 questions. Question number 11 to 18. Each question carries 2 marks. So, in case of part B, there will be 10 marks. Then part C. Part C or main question number 3 will contain totally 8 questions from inorganic section. Out of 8, you have to answer 5 questions and each question carries 3 marks. Question number 19 to 26 are from inorganic section and you have to answer for you have to answer 5 questions, you will get 15 marks. Part C. Then part D. Friends, part D, uh, in part D, there will be 2 main questions, question number 4 and question number 5. In case of main question number 4, there will be 5 questions from physical chemistry and you have to answer 3 questions. From 27, question number 27 to 31, you have to write answer for 3 questions and each question carries 5 marks. So, totally there are 15 marks in the main question number 4 and it is from physical chemistry. Then main question number 5. There will be 6 questions, question number 32 to 37. There will be 6 questions from organic chemistry and out of 6, you have to write answer for 4 questions. Each question carries 5 marks. So, totally there are 20 marks from the main question number 5. So, these are the marks distribution of the each part of the question paper. And uh, another important thing is, in case of part A, there will be no extra question for your choice. That means, uh, for example, here, there will be 8 questions and uh, you can cho choose any 5 question. But in case of 1 mark question or part A, there will be only 10 question and you have to write answer for all the 10 question. There will be no extra questions. So, friends, I think uh, part C and part D are very clear, but you have some uh, doubts in part A and part B. Uh, like uh, from which chapter uh, uh, one more question will be asked for or uh, from which section two marks question will be appear like that. Uh, I think uh, those uh, doubts will be vanished after watching my next video because uh, in my next video I will give you the clear picture of chapter wise marks distribution. Uh, that means uh, from which chapter, which type of question will be asked or uh, what is the weightage of each and every chapter of your syllabus etc. So, uh, please uh, wait for that video. And uh, one more thing, in case of 5 marks question, that means uh, from question number 27 to 37, the 5 marks will be distributed as either 2 plus 2 plus 1 or uh, 3 plus 2 or sometimes 4 plus 1. That means... These questions are uh, 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 having uh, the sub questions. For example, uh, question number uh, 31, will, there will be A, B, C or A, B like that. So, 5 marks uh, will be distributed in sub questions. So, friends, I think uh, this video is uh, very helpful for you. And uh, please uh, like this video, share this video with your friends and please subscribe to my channel to get more videos related to chemistry. Thank you.